Nick Greiner for Sports Talk for Kids, and I'm here with rock climber Brennan Parkin. Well, how do you start climbing rocks at this point? Um, well, uh, some friends of mine are into it, and they just sort of took me out, and so I started that way, and then I took some courses. What's the feeling like when you're standing on top of the rock looking down at everybody? Oh, it's really great. That's one of the things that really got me into it, because it's fun to get to places where not too many people can get to. And yeah, I really like that. I'm actually from Vancouver, Canada. Uh, well, this is my first time here, actually. This is our first day. So the, the climbs we got us climbing are the first ones we ever did here. But we heard a lot about the place, so it was a place I always wanted to come out. I'm here with rock climber Christina C. What makes you want to go climb huge rocks? Uh, it's satisfying. I love how it feels. Um, and I just feel great doing it, too. It's like It's a lot of problem solving and it's it's fine. What's the scariest part about doing it? Falling? <laughs> yeah, I think falling is probably the scariest part. Or, or just thinking that you're about to fall. That's pretty scary. But if you can get past it, then it's all good and you just feel so, so excited for getting past a certain move. Yeah. Have you ever fallen? <laughs> Lots. <laughs> yeah. How do you train to rock climb? Um, I, I climb indoors during the winter? Oh, well, year-round, really. I guess that's about it, just climbing inside and then outside as much as I can. <laughs> what, what makes Joshua Tree down here so special? Well, just the landscape is incredible here, and like the rock's kind of different from home, because um, we usually climb in Squamish, uh, back up in BC, and yeah, it's just, it's really different from what we've climbed before. A little bit similar to City of Rocks in Idaho, but Still, it's got its unique points. <laughs> the development of climbing in the U.S. was centered here. A lot of the routes that were first done here were done, well, in the 60s and 70s. It's not really that long ago in terms of a lot of other sports, but for rock climbing, that's pretty old in terms of the harder free climbing routes. So some of the first, uh, some harder grades were put up here. So it's just kind of an interesting place to come. There's kind of a community atmosphere. Every time we go to a new place to climb, then the climbers kind of congregate and hang out together. So, exchange stories. <laughs> What does it feel like when you're at the top of the mountain, or the top of the rock? Uh, like I'm on top of the world, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for your time, and good luck. Thanks. This is Nick Garner for Sports Talk for Kids. Hey kids, let's talk sports.